first of all, you can be talking to me, so you don't need to be oh, like okay. We'll just get straight into it, that's right. Have you got any questions before we start? Next. Eating disorder. someone restricts what they eat to affect the way they look. When somebody just ha has trouble with food. They want some control generally and they try and use their control over their eating habits. When you have low self-esteem or issues going on and it causes you to focus all of that onto food so you either don't eat or you excessively eat. There's where anxiety makes you feel the need to control Eating. This is kind of a way to emotionally cope. That's their way of regulating their life. From what I've heard from people's experiences is that they just can't stand the way they look. So they'd rather stop eating. It's physical but it's also psychological as well. So there's different aspects to it, it's not just straightforward. Self-harm in some respects. I suppose it's just a fixation on food. It's where it's the only thing that makes you actually feel in control of your life. Very simple question, yeah. It's so simple, but it's difficult to answer. <laughs> I think they're, they're unnatural. We've definitely forgotten how to eat and how to feed our bodies, and because of that, we eat the wrong things and then we feel bad for it, and then that becomes a problem and we don't realise how disordered our eating is as a society anyway. My thoughts are this, that people need help and guidance around when it first starts rather than really telling someone it's wrong or you're doing the wrong thing for your body. You need to start from the beginning and try and prevent it from happening. Yeah, I think there needs to be more sort of awareness around it. I think it's one of those, everyone knows eating disorders exist, but not that many people talk about it or discuss it or I guess it's so complex, such a complex issue. It's very easy just to go, oh that person's got an eating disorder without actually looking into it and thinking of the process behind it. I think some people think it's really easy, like you just get a grip, like it's only what you put in and out your mouth and stuff, but it's a lot harder than that to the person. I feel like it can be a taboo subject and I think that it shouldn't be a taboo subject. I think it needs to be more information given out at an early age, especially as I know that eating disorders are on the rise. I feel it's something that I need to know more about. I've had friends and I know people uh, that have had them and are currently suffering with them and I just feel completely useless because I don't really know any, that much about it. So, but I feel that like I need to know more as an individual. I feel that sort of an overwhelming problem with anything regarding mental health. Like the, the, the one of the most challenging things is simply to open up because there's that fear of judgment. I, I, I worry, to be honest.